I guess you kind of call this cautiousness, given that we did reach some of these overbought levels for oil. Where do we go from here? We go lower, Yvonne. Um, you know, if we think about the, the oil market uh, as, as a three-legged stool, where each one of the legs is a supportive factor, we have a, quite an unusual situation where all of these legs are providing uplift to prices. You know, one of the legs is the fundamental supply-demand outlook, and that's certainly very constructive, has become quite bullish of late with the latest uh, stock inventory decline uh, numbers coming in from the end of last year. The second leg is our geopolitical risk leg. That has been supportive with a plethora of uh, events around the world. And the third leg, which is the one that we're looking at as being the most wobbly or the most dangerous, is the positioning leg. And we've got extreme long speculative length in the crude market, about a billion barrels of crude, uh, that's helped with this move higher, that's taken prices above our fundamental outlook. And, and, and what the challenge is, in our view, is trying to understand what the catalyst is going to be and what the trigger uh, will be to cause this length to unwind, to bring us back down to where we think oil is fundamental valued, which is about $62 a barrel basis Brent. So what's going to bring that down? Is it that, you know, U.S. shale comes back in a big way? I mean, OPEC, of course, just revised up their output numbers. We've heard the likes of ConocoPhillips, the CEO, saying they're worried. He's worried that his rivals are going to start drilling soon and really take the leg out of this rally. Is the U.S. shale side of things still the biggest risk? Very much so. I mean, uh, many of our clients ask questions about why we haven't seen a bigger shale-driven response considering these levels. Uh, one of the things we need to bear in mind to try and understand the supply response a little bit better is that the market is in its steep backwardation which makes it very difficult for shale producers to hedge because they would have to put on a short position at a discounted price to near-term prices, which in terms of managing their cash flow as that hedge starts to move up the curve becomes quite, quite intensive. There's also um, you know, shortfalls of completion teams in the U.S., uh, people actually on the ground to actually complete the wells after you've drilled them. And, and so you know, that, that's certainly something to watch, but it's, it's, it's not an immediate worry.